police sitting, waiting for drivers to speed by. You know, last month we told you about this. It's the, the Dirty 30, four towns along uh, 30 miles of Interstate 45 south of Dallas, writing a large number of traffic tickets. The story that we had then got a lot of response. Well, tonight, a voice from inside this Texas triangle, small towns within that triangle of cities in central Texas. One judge quit because there's a quota for ticket writing. Byron Harris has the story. Revenue generated from speeding tickets pays for a lot of small town police departments in Texas. We hear that without ticket income, a lot of towns couldn't afford a police force. But not everyone goes along with the game. Here's a story from the Texas Triangle as News 8 investigates. Now, normally when they pull you over for safety, you know, they ask the safety kind of questions. You know, they tell you why they pulled you over. Um, they ask for insurance, check your tags, things of that nature. You know, this was none of that. Don Shaheen is one of the thousands of Texans who got speeding tickets in April. Yeah, but, but it seemed to him, instead of being concerned about safety, the police officer just wanted to write a ticket and then get on to the next one. This guy just took my license, gave me a ticket, and, you know, that was pretty much it. When I first became a Judge Byron, we had one reserve officer. That's all he did on Friday and Saturday. Every other weekend, he'd write 100 citations. David Viscardi was a municipal judge for 15 and a half years in Calvary. Population 1155. It's plunk in the middle of a triangle of towns in central Texas, which statistics show are huge ticket writers. Lot on Highway 77, Hearn on Highway 79, and Franklin on Highway 79. But the municipal court is their cash cow. Viscardi quit as judge because he was getting pressure from city officials to push speeding tickets through court. The pressures to collect money in, in Calvert and probably other small towns throughout Texas is excessive. And that what winds up happening is you get good judges like me that say, hey, I got better things to do with my free time. Thank you very much and God bless you. I'll move on. In Franklin, population 1,618, they'll take in a half million dollars in municipal court fees this year, mostly traffic tickets. The police department, in fact, is funded by municipal court fees. Hearn would not tell us how much it collects in municipal court fees or how big its budget is, but state records show it ranks 43rd in Texas for pending cases in municipal court which is a measure of how many traffic tickets it writes. Hearn has just 4,500 people. It has 12,000 municipal court cases pending. And Lot, population 759, is one of the top 20 towns in Texas for pending municipal court cases per capita. Lot is basically a stoplight on Highway 77, a stoplight with a speed trap. The town's mayor would not provide budget numbers, but state records show it has 3,400 municipal court cases pending, nearly five for each of its 759 residents. Calvert didn't call us back either, but state records show it has 5,159 municipal court cases pending, nearly five for each of its 1,100 residents. Former Judge Viscardi says the town banks on no one taking their traffic ticket cases to court and simply mailing in a check. He says the city is incapable of trying cases because it has no prosecutor and doesn't want to pay for one. The mindset of most small towns, including Calvert, and I can only speak for Calvert, is that after all, we're only Calvert who's going to know. And the problem is, I knew. The state of Texas can fine cities that get more than 30% of their revenue from traffic tickets. In the past decade, the state comptroller has collected more than $2 million from a handful of cities for overzealous ticketing. But records show that no town in the Texas Triangle has ever been audited. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News.